cool. Get that going. Dang, so can't stand just pull Nargus. That's nuts. Congratulations on finally having a good counterfire hero. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I only have 500 million minerals. I've been trying to get my mineral production up so hard, but it's it's difficult when like I'm always leveling heroes and stuff. Uh, I finally put a couple more points in cost reduction. I, well, I put two in for hyper destroyers, and I went up to five for hyper battleships. Normally, I was running four and zero and everything else, and I was just I couldn't respec my fleets. To make my defense fleet, I literally had to like delete like five or not five, like two like full hyper destroyer fleets, and uh, yeah, just to just to get like a couple couple hundred million resources. But yeah, so we have a uh, scheming booter, uh, this Russian guy, Watt, Cobran, NWO, Adenia. No, like super super heavy hitters. Scheming was the is probably like the one I'm most concerned about. I completely messed up setting my defense fleet, and uh, I definitely um. Actually, I'm gonna put that over there. I most definitely uh put my ex advanced explosive fire my one dps um right in the uh tank spot so i got wrecked there yo macross what's up dude um yeah so my defense plate's pretty pretty scrubby this time around but uh just gonna swap over to put clear on missiles for a second just because that fleet had a bunch of uh i was looking at my league earlier and the first guy had a bunch of DT8s with some missile threat and there's just like there's no point in me letting this guy proc twice and beating me potentially because I think that m if he has a lot of damage he could wipe my two battleships so yo Ann what's up how did uh, both of your leagues go this time around yeah yeah I just, I just needed a spread fire proc but if I had no procs that's why I did it uh, oops. We'll swap her back over to beams, though. Second to Achilles. Dang, so Achilles is uh, still coming in strong. He had a pretty rough start to the season, so I wondered if he would still, like, give it his all. SK1? Uh, that figures. Is he still undefeated this time around? So it's weird. This round, I've had this guy and this guy are both running cannon advanced confusion fire on a militia master. And I feel like that's just a terrible call. It's so easy to evade cannons. Probably base just hyper destroyers could just beat this. But and with three DPS, I mean he has no he has a big cannon hole, but I'm just gonna uh hit him with that. Yo Ken Sam, what's up? I was just complimenting your pull of Nargus. Congratulations. My honor pull I just did right now was um, uh, another S planet invite, so I'm loving that about the game. Yeah. That went pretty much just how I expected. But I am excited to set my defense fleet for next round. Uh, I think I've got like a pretty decent one. I think it's going to be a tough nut to crack. Like I'm trying to think of how it it would be five starred. Spirited Jedi. Um. Yeah, I think just with a regular advanced AGM, eleventh planet invite. I mean, I've already got my eleventh planet. I spent. <laughs> so I okay. So I I spent like twenty five invites because I wanted to get a level fifty, and I wasn't getting it. Uh, so I like had like 40 now I have like 15 um, and like I have this many advanced planet discoveries but yeah this is what my 11th planet looks like right now I just straight up don't have the resources to build something yo JP what's up 
Um, but yeah, so I just leveled up the mining facility and the cosmos, and then nothing else is really leveled at all. So, and I finally got my hypergov uh, leveled up to 110. She's all right. She's 1,005. I feel like 11 attack bleed 44 defense isn't really that bad. I mean, it's no Vela, but yeah. So I think I'm just like limited by my Trons right now. But my Trons are like pretty decent. Like that's a 70 extra Gov stat and like this one's just a lower level. So I don't know. Maybe I'll make some. I think I need more contaminated fuel. I've started collecting all my, my items. Uh... I've definitely like been playing the game longer. Like I, my list could probably go like way past this if I hadn't deleted everything. Yo, face cook and Cobran, what is up? But uh, yeah. Yeah, it's such a nice day outside. Oh, and it's daylight savings time too. So now it's gonna be uh brighter in the evenings which is going to be nice. I'll be able to go disking in the afternoons now. Maybe I should see if my roommate wants to go disking within the next couple days. Oh. Do you do uh you do you guys in Europe do daylight savings time or do you guys not? I don't know if it's just a states thing. Sorry, I hit every alien because it gives you pretty much either an LD or an advanced T7 Tron part, which is really important. I need all the Tron parts. Uh, I'm only at 10% on Planet 11, level 50 research, tried for a different type. I mean, level 50, honestly, like, that's all I was going for. I don't really care about the secondary boost. I was more interested in just getting a level 50. Yeah, I figured he didn't have... Yeah, it looks like he didn't have the fleet scale. You guys do do daylight savings? I. Yeah, as a kid, I always, like, hated springing forward, but I think as an adult, I'm realizing that it's actually pretty, pretty nice. Um, what's disking? Uh, yeah, like, frisbee golf, essentially. Disc golfing. There we go. Dang, I had really nice procs on that random fire. Yeah. I'm not, like, super good at disking, but... And I I don't even have like that many discs, but it's it's pretty fun to just like go to a course, spend some time outside, throw a disc around with some friends. Alright, probably swap in APF with this one. Um Yeah, just to eliminate that counterfire hero threat. And I don't have an APF fleet. Love it. Shouldn't be too expensive to make one though. Hopefully. We'll rock uh, eagles. We do need to stealth. Yeah, I'm also going to keep track of, in my top right, I'm going to keep track of all the extra swaps I do. Just so, like like I can look back at the end of the round and be like oh I did 10 extra swaps this league cost me 200 crystals and stuff like that I'll probably want to go eh, we'll just do that one Just cause like I'm, I don't know, I'm just always curious about how, uh, like how much I'm spending. Uh, six, okay, that's not, that's not too bad, I can afford that. Although actually that's not even a full fleet, that's just basic. Looks like I don't have any trons on this. It's nice having heroes with a uh, natural, um, natural, uh, advance, uh, 15 skills, to be honest. Use the module? Oh, shit, I should have used the module. Good call. If I need to make another fleet, I'll do that. I totally forgot that that one's a thing. I forget that most modules are a thing. I think it's because, like, I started playing the game before they were, and, like, I got to end game 
before that point. All right, I want ability and then Eva missiles just to evade most counter or confusion fire heroes. That's how I'm gonna do this. Do I have an Eva missile? There we go. Eh, little one level lower. I'm still working on getting all my new trons or not trons, my new extras. I think a lot of people are at that point right now. And I'm pulling like all these crappy like cannon ac accuracy ones. I really just want Eva missile, ac missile, ac beam, and like maybe a few Eva beams. That's really what I want. Oh, this guy's only level six. He's not really that much of a threat. I probably didn't need to do all this respecking. Um, put that there. Uh, yeah, that'll work. I guess I probably should use it right there. How long does the module last? Which one is it? Do I even have it? Low key, I might not even have it. I have this one. Looks like some resources. I might actually just not have it researched yet. Automus Fleet Constructor. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't have it. I need a hardware mod for it. Hardware is usually what limits me, so. But I finally got my Alien Analyzer to 3. Might show off uh, how much I can farm with Alien Analyzer. Last 30 minutes, that's pretty good. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't like a 10 minute one. And I'm sure you could upgrade it to like get like an hour or two hours if you got to like level 10, but. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, he can't even hit me. I did not need advanced piercing fire. He had a beam hole. And his missiles or his missile defense wasn't that high anyway. Um Hmm. He's got very high ability, so he probably doesn't have a ton of durability on this hero. The E jamming. I'm still probably gonna run beams, because if I'm able to hit uh either of these hero if he's not running beam extras or if my accuracy is just high enough uh he'll get right wiped there oh time doesn't scale percent discount goes up like cost reduction okay interesting uh nargus right there i think if you're gonna run nargus in a dps like this you just straight up cannot run this formation uh because like i'm just gonna take out nargus instantly and then Yeah, I might actually put in advanced precision fire. I don't know if I want advanced precision fire. I does he, what does he have for defense shield? ADS, I'm assuming fifteen. Yeah. Hmm. Nah, advanced precision fire is pretty nice. Starts at negative fifteen percent. Okay. That's, I mean, every little bit helps. So it's, and like 15% is like a, yeah, like you said, another point in cost reduction. Oops. <sighs> I'm debating if I want to run an advanced precision fire. I might actually just see how this works. If see if he's gonna evade me or not. Did anyone else drop stars to him? How are other people doing against this? Okay, so scheming and this Russian guy got five. Watt got four. Let me just check my accuracies. Five seventy-seven. I think my missiles will hit. My beams are at 592. 
I might actually, I think I'm going to swap this for accuracy device. And I might, yeah, I'm just going to give myself a lot more accuracy. Kensan just wants you to hurry and lose some more, <laughs> lose some stars on the way. He's not in my, uh, he's not, Kensan isn't in this round though. But yeah, I think I'll just run high, because if he's running advanced e-jamming, he might think he doesn't need to run, uh, beam, um, uh, evasion extras. We'll see. I don't know if it'll hit or not, but I'm kind of just testing it. And I plan on uh, running a bunch of, um, hyper destroyers later on. Alright, nice proc there. There we go. Yep, Nargus gone. And it looks like my, yeah, it looks like I'll be able to shred this fleet. Yep. Cool, cool. Looks like he has double beam invasion extras on this, but my missiles can just whittle him away. Nice. Making his fleet look easy. <laughs> yeah, I'll be able to steamroll this one. Yeah, <laughs> when I put my AEF out in front, yeah. That was actually a really huge mistake. If I got paired with, like, only one other person or something, I actually could have gotten shredded, but... I... The funny thing is, is I literally... I, like, set my defense fleet. I set a super last minute. And I was disappointed because I didn't get the, the right Trons that I wanted. I had, like, a little bit better Trons, but... Uh, I didn't swap them out in time and like save my defense fleet. I like pushed save and it was like you can't save like a fleet that's already uh, like in progress or something. Yeah, like this wasn't even here. I like clicked it and I got like an error message saying like you can't do that. Um, but uh, but yeah, and then like I sent uh, my fleet out like twelve hours later to like uh, I sh I shared it with a with a friend on Facebook and like wanted to like see what he thought of it. And he was like, why do you have AEF in the tank spot? And I was like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, tucked into your AER. Yeah, pretty much my... Uh, okay, so the goal was just to swap uh, advanced E-Jam for advanced defense shield. I think advanced defense shield is just better to run. So, uh... Yeah, that was pretty much like what I was going for. I was going to put Gary in the tank spot, and I just had him mixed up. Monco. Yeah. But whatever, it, it happens, of course, so... We've all made mistakes setting defense fleets. It just it's, it's part of the game. Savio. Hmm. I am a little concerned about this counterfire hero. I mean, he's got all these defense heroes, so like he definitely has max resist. He doesn't need three defense heroes, that's for sure. But uh, also no defense shield. Actually, I know how to beat. I'm not even gonna mess around with his fleet. I think it's pretty fragile, but uh, I'm just gonna run advanced precision fire, advanced precision fire. Um, what else? Advanced rapid fire and maybe one random on Augies or something. I'll probably hit this guy later though. That because that'll be a bit of a respec. I'll check other guys first. Um, NWO isn't he the guy that runs like cannon Eva or not cannon Eva missile Eva extras all the time and like just makes me upset because he just evades everything. I think he's the person that does that. Um. I might go Hyper Destroyers against him. Miss Leva Hyper Destroyers. Ooh. 
that'd be a lot of extra swaps. So this guy has hella ability. Hyper battleships might be the way to go. Hmm. Maybe. But I feel I feel like. I feel like I'll be able to hit him with beams. 660 accuracy beams, he's gonna get lit up, let's be real. And he might actually have a beam hole. Uh, I might just hit him like this, kinda see how it goes. Or... I think I gotta get myself a missile eva extra. Alright, I'm gonna wait to hit him too. At least one. Just for the confusion fire. Unless everyone has confusion fire, now it's just the time I need to switch. Nah, he doesn't. I'm trying to be more uh, smart about my extra swaps, just so it doesn't cost me a ton. Ooh, ooh. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Boo. Just didn't hit all the DPS. And he got like 8 procs too on it, so. Or he got like the max amount, I think. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Okay, good. Good thing my beams fired uh, before his. Of course, that has to happen, but. Uh, against Cobran. Ooh. Oh yeah, I, I told him he's he's got a cannon hole again. I'm just gonna run shockwave cannons against him. Um this fleet is probably also This fleet's like hyper battleships, advanced piercing fire. I really don't need advanced precision fire because he does not he's not gonna have the ability to evade. If these were cru cruisers, <laughs> hi Cobran. Um But yeah, like advanced rapid fire and maybe like Augies or something. Interesting, he's only got regular defense shield. I'm curious what his other defense shield hero is. Um. Oh, this is a fleet. Yeah, I think I'm getting to that time where I need at least one missile Eva extra. Yeah, definitely gonna need it over for that one. And then Schemen. Oh, he doesn't have it. Interesting. He's got Mag Jam. So this is. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go Hyper Destroyers and sneak by him for this one. Hyper Destroyers, high accuracy. Probably advanced piercing fire. <laughs> Maybe a Chord Hero. Ugh, we'll see. But yeah, I think we're past the point that my fleet, my current fleet, is going to be able to uh, hit people. So I think I want one missile, Eva. No, not against him. Who do I want to hit? I'll hit Colburn with uh, shockwaves first. Yeah, I think having shockwaves is pretty important just to be able to exploit the hole. I'm pretty interested about getting uh, my disruption beam leveled up too. I think that could have like a a a, a decent purpose end game. 
for defense fleets more so. Actually, I didn't need to swap all those because I'm probably just going to sub, sub a spread fire out. Because I do want advanced precision fire. Uh, beams are fine. I'm just using it for the passive ability anyway. I'll take that 350 accuracy because I think I don't think he'll be able to light up this guy anyway. And even if she does die, really, it's not a huge deal. Oh, I should probably check. Uh... Actually, is he stealth? Is she stealth? She's not. Alright, so I should put stealth on her. Just so those cannons don't wipe me. Even though, like I said, if I did get wiped, it wouldn't matter too much. Wait a minute, if he's... He's got missiles here now. Did he have beams before? Shoot, if he's not stealth, I won't be able to bust through this, will I? He's got a missile DPS. Maybe I just pray she pray she doesn't proc. Seems risky. Nah, whatever. It might work. Or he he is he stealth? Oh, why are none of my guys stealth? Have I not been stealth this whole time? I don't remember taking stealth off. Hmm. Probably want spread, actually. Uh, I have a spread barely prox. I'm gonna pop in another hyper destroyer fleet. Uh, I'm gonna go cannons, explosive fire. Oh, I don't need explosive fire, do I? It would hit his stealth fleets, though. That's the only thing. Two blade hit might be nice. Uh, yeah, we'll make one. I think I'll run. Nah, we'll still run shockies. Oh, no, I have been stealth the whole time. I just, I forget that you unstealth when you fire, and since he, I'm just running a super ranged weapon. That's what it was. I was confused for a second. I was like, what? That makes way more sense, though. Never mind. Clara says hi. Yeah, you're Clara hemming pretty good. Do I... Oh, I have her in a fleet already. What's she in? Oh, she's in hyper cruisers. Oh, yeah, 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 because that's my... I forget, that's how I run her. On defense. That's pricey. But you gotta pay. And honestly, it's still way cheaper than what I've been used to paying, so I, I can handle a little bit of it. 
Uh, oh, not this. Don't need that. I'll run. Probably just Eva M. Do I have an Eva M drawn? Yeah, sure. Nice. Dang, she is very fragile. Nice. Because I think I'll actually be able to just straight up wipe this DPS that's stealth. And I might go... Probably just get rid of one of these random fires. I also only have 164 AP. I'm running pretty low. This this patch has not been kind to my AP stash. Mm, didn't quite wipe the DPS. It's not good. There we go. Oh, am I gonna lose? Yeah, there we go. Fuck. Do I just not have the DPS to beat this fleet? Our shockwave is not the way to go. <sighs> I got two stars. Are you kidding me? I actually think I just need an opening spread fire proc. To be completely honest. I think I'm just rolling on the 58% chance and I've just been unlucky. Are other people having this much trouble with your fleet, Coburn? No. Well, Scheman hasn't even hit you yet. He's probably just watching the stream, and then he'll figure out how I, I did it, and then do it himself. That's what SK would do. Honestly, that's what, that's what you should do if you're a decent player against me. There we go. I don't like these fighter ACFFs though. They're very scary. Okay, well, we did it. Yeah, so I think it was just an ACFF. He said he will do that? Yeah. I mean, I definitely know that, like, if I'm streaming, I'm at a disadvantage for that, so. It's alright. Alright, I think we're full moving over to HGT now. I think we're past the point. Or I want to use uh, hyper battleships. So let's swap some fleets in. Uh, let's see. I have a ton of hyper destroyers, actually. Uh, actually, no, I got enough. All right, and then what skills do I want? <sighs> Against this one. This will just be like a full Augie rapid fire type spam. I actually lied. I still might want hyper battleships. Uh. No, actually. Okay, so this guy has a lot of ability. So I think the way to go. I think hyper destroyers will just be able to straight beat it anyway. So I think if I spec for missile Eva. Yeah, I think if I spec for missile Eva and then I just APF this fleet, that'll be able to work. Maybe. Kind of the same thing with this one too. 
No defense shield and double missile, yeah. Oh, this one I'm gonna run B maybe, uh, Xters. Uh. Alright. Yeah, let's slap some Missile Eva Xters on and get some extra swaps going. What heroes do I wanna run? Okay, so APF. Probably don't need advanced precision fire. I run spread fire. Random, random. Probably. Or spread, spread, random, piercing fire. Might do that, actually. Because the spread, the double hit on this heroes, I think is pretty important. Yeah, we'll run two spreads. Well, actually, no, I'm only going to run one just because I have a shitty spread fire hero. I don't want to use the one that's in Hyper Destroyers. Uh, I mean, I'll use her in Hyper Destroyers, but like, I'm going to swap to a different one. So. I don't need that plate. I actually hate that it discards it automatically. I don't understand why that's a thing in the game. I think it's only because Astronest is too lazy to fix it and it's like a bug in the code. I just don't understand why dismissing a fleet, if you do it a certain way, just gets you, you get no resources for it. Cause like it just makes the game more difficult. I'm fine taking the 80% hit and having to like like remake it for like a hundred percent value of course but it's just Sabrina so I'll put her on Krypton's and yeah, I think I'm kind of just going to run like, well, I need more Eva. Missile attack, missile or accuracy. And then... I think I just need one Missile Eva extra. And then I kind of have a free one, so I could keep running accuracy. Yeah, we'll do that. Actually, I think I want more damage. Oh shoot, do I still have stealth on though? Because I think I'm still going to run stealth at least for the first few. Yeah. Lauren. Wait, that's my... Oh, this, this is my good spread fire hero good spread fire here basically it's just the one that doesn't have 200 and oh I wonder how much go govern she has now actually I haven't checked 260 and still 4 defense that's really funny what this one end up at 108 dang yeah it's not fun using a 260 gov hero but it actually works better than most people think it would. I mean, I've won universe with it. So. Could be a lot, a lot worse. And then, yeah, we'll just add Clara in. 
it actually works out. They had pretty similar fleet scale, so it didn't cost me that much, thankfully. But I, I don't know. I just I wish it wasn't like that. Doesn't seem right. Alright, and then, yeah, we'll just do some extra swap in. Alright. Bye bye. Wow, sh wait, how much EVM extras do I have? I might need to pull some from Trons already. There's one. I might take one from this. Oh. Just put it on this hero and do it that way. I still wish that there was like an easy way to just dismount extras. I actually there there's a Tron menu. I can probably do it there. It's just I'm I'm an old age person, not a new age person to this game. But you could probably check it there. No more Eva M's. Okay. Oh, well, that's because she's got them. You don't need all these. Give me that. Are you? I still can't believe they didn't add a search feature or a sort feature. Actually, I, I can totally believe that. I straight up just need to gut more trons. I must. Jesus. Okay, who has all my EVMs? Who's just running them? This hero has one? Peter? Six pulse fire hero has two. You don't need those, Claire. We should be okay now. I think I have enough. Because I think one of my heroes already had him. I could take some lead, but I'm kind of... I still think you should run accuracy. Or uh, ability, I guess. Just to get that extra accuracy. Because if you can't hit anything, there's no point in having more damage. That's the way I see it. Cool. And then that spread fire hero has an Eva fighter. Uh, so I do need to change that. Actually, I'll keep... Yeah, I'll just swap this one. Not 67. Oh shoot, did my stream freeze? Oh, no, we're good. I'm just frozen my computer. Lead Eva M, lead Eva M, lead Eva M. And then I just need Piercing Fire. I think Piercing Fire already has Eva M. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so that puts my Eva at. Engine. So I have 453. 
I think that's enough to evade perfect missiles. Uh, even with full... Uh, for yeah, because I get the boost from my formation too. 480 is really high. A little bit lower here, but that's all right. Actually, I just need to put up to like 470. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna run this and see how it goes. Curious, kind of. Cause I've I've run hyper destroyers before, but I've never run them like this. This is kind of like a hybrid. This is me still wanting to use them like hyper battleships. Because I still need to take out this DPS. <laughs> Hi Jared, what's up? Um But yeah, this is me still trying to use them as a DPS, which normally like I'm not really trying to do, but this here is kinda just a little bit of a threat. Like Real hyper destroyer users would evade both of these threats, and I'm kind of trying to see if like I can go like a hyper like middle of the road. Can I let you in? Uh, I'm in the middle of my stream. It should be unlocked. Ch or go in the back. The back should be open. I wouldn't be surprised if nobody's at the house. I do need to swap to this formation though. Dang. If the back is uh, isn't is still uh, still locked, I'll come down and get you. But otherwise, I'm just gonna chill up here for a bit. Sorry. Oh shit! I have my piercing fire in the wrong spot. Fuck. That was a mistake. I'm gonna get wrecked here. And we'll be able to see how well it works actually. Oh wow! I'm actually might just kill this Vince straight up without piercing fire. Uh, maybe not actually. Maybe. What the? Okay, yep, well, it worked. This wasn't how I thought it would work, but that's actually nice knowing that, like, I can literally mess something up so bad like that and I can still get the right procs. I don't think his cannons procced against me, though. I think if cannons procced, it would have been a different story. Um. Yeah, so this fleet's kind of the same thing. 207% ability, only level 9. I'm assuming he kind of just doesn't have him, like, fully spec. What's 10. Only 10,000 ships? Yeah. He's not really pushing, like, high lead or anything. Uh, I don't know what the new normal... What's the new normal? That's what I need to know. Like, what do I run in my... my okay, oh. I'm running 1,600. How much lead is that? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of lead. Okay, that's like a hundred... So 100,000 late is like around like 1,600 ships. And he's running... Okay. So he's probably around like 70, 75k lead. So he's not really like pushing any... This is the only hero that's like really taking advantage of the new higher level. Going from 110 pretty much gave everyone an extra like 10k lead extra with no attachments. You just got an extra little bit of durability. But yeah, so I think I'll probably just hit him with the same fleet. Uh, I am going to actually put my piercing fire in the correct spot, and all my other heroes in the right spot too. But yeah, hopefully that works. We shall see. <laughs> oh, I didn't need stealth. If I don't have enough damage. Oh, his fighters are going to go off. Shit. Uh, I need more damage. Yeah, I almost wonder if, like, a hyper battleship with one, like, if that'd be better. Like, this is kind of how I was using, like, against this, 
like three weeks ago, I was using Hyper Battleships, and I would run uh, like one, maybe two. I'd probably run two if I wanted to be optimal. Two missile Eva Xters, um, and that would just be able to evade him anyway. And then I would be able to get the damage to actually take out this hero. That's the kind of thing that's hurting me right now, is that I'm just not able to deal enough damage. But if I take off stealth, do I need stealth for anyone else? Does anyone have cannons? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're done with the cannon threats. Okay, so we'll just hop off stealth forever, um, and I'll probably give myself some more. Uh, Probably some more damage, actually. I don't really need this either. Oh, actually, I'll swap this one. But yeah, just to give myself a little bit more of a kick. Uh, this hero, I mean, I guess I might as well on stealth. I'll probably just give her more accuracy. She's already pretty high. She's at 600, so she's good. I'm assuming you got in, Jared. I'm assuming you also probably killed the stream. I think I hear people talking downstairs, so we're good. I play, uh, I play D&D &D with, uh, him and a couple other friends every Sunday. And normally I play after, or I stream after D and D. But uh, this time I skyped some friends earlier today, and then I just wanted to stream right after, and then I'm gonna join them and play D and D. But actually, yeah, okay. Wow, I'm actually pretty low on resources. I think uh, even on two cost reduction, it's still pretty expensive using hyper destroyers. Alright, we'll give this one a shot. I feel like I didn't have the best procs either um, against this fleet. I feel like if I get like a couple more hits on his heroes, he'll just he'll go poof. Even with Hyper Destroyers, weak, weaker amounts of damage. And I have Hyper Destroyers. I have 10 points in attack, so like this is this is about as much damage as you can optimally get with Hyper Destroyers. I just need to actually hit his... TPS a bunch. There we go. Okay. And then I think it's just whittle it away because neither of his confusion fire healers are going to hit me. And he doesn't have anything to repair with. So. Yeah. I think we'll be able to beat him. Yeah. Especially if, pier if piercing fire proxy. Yeah, yeah. It's GG. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I just needed a little bit more damage, a little bit luckier procs, but that's how the game works. How many attacks did Skimin waste? He's at 23, and I'm at 18. Okay, so I'm still sitting a little bit prettier than he is right now. Yeah, because he had bad procs against this Russian guy. And not the best procs against Terminator, too. I don't even remember who Terminator was. I straight up just steamrolled that fleet, so... Must have given him trouble, though. Alright, any more Missile Eva people that we need? This guy. Ooh, but okay, so this was... I might push it and run two, and I actually just try and evade this spread fire hero, too. Actually, I think I can do it with one, to be completely honest. With advanced mag jam... It depends if he's running missile accuracy extras. I'm gonna stick with one though, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. But I'm am going to swap to um, Augies on this hero. Oh, I got a new beam there, disruption beam. Yeah, nice. I 
and we'll give myself a little more accuracy his beam eva on the tanks is the real deal his dps ain't that much as far as i can remember his eva yeah well i'm assuming he's not gonna his dps isn't gonna evade me i'm just wondering if i can evade him that's what i'm concerned about I'm actually just going to try and straight up run this fleet and hope that he doesn't hit me. Which I don't know if it's a good call or not. <coughs> not what. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to be able to evade this guy. It's just this 267 per 264%. It's kind of high. And it I mean, of course it depends what he's running to, but the advanced mag jam is definitely hurting himself just as much as it's hurting me if not more so yeah I think we'll give this a shot just kind of see like what hits and like what he has a hole in and then we can respect for that later and if I need to throw on another extra I will like Miss Leva but I think this should be enough it's so weird how he runs hyper motherships spec for Eva like this miss I think yeah I think he got full misses okay so it looks like I'm able to evade him with just one extra which is nice and he's definitely taking some damage alright so now it's just up to beams and augies to proc it looks like okay so I'm not even hitting him with beams although I'm literally just hitting the same two fleets some fishy there maybe <laughs> wow his eva is insane i actually don't understand how he gets so high of eva i think uh, it looks like i mean he does it by having no resist that's how he does it so which augies get that accuracy bonus and they'll they'll hit you for the cap for sure. So now it looks like we just got a couple more pillow fleets to hit and scheming. So. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so I think uh, how we're going to do this one is. I, th I don't know if I want to go full E Jam. The reason I want to go full E-Jam is because I actually only have an advanced E-Jam. And I don't like uh, being hit by... Um, I don't like taking that DPS like uh, beam damage downgrade, I guess you could say. But yeah, I don't know if he's running... He's probably running resist extras, maybe one accuracy. I think I'm just going to run one and kind of see if that's enough. I can afford to waste a few attacks if necessary. I do think he should have a advanced confusion fire in his fleet. Just because like, it's such a, such a pivotal skill in my opinion. Like it just, it's difficult to cover and like it's such a good like blocking move essentially. It's difficult to get around. So I have 275 beam Eva and with formation. I can actually just keep him there. Doesn't matter since she'll still fire before. Um, 
Ja. Right, so we gotta take these off. There's one. And then we'll rock ability, Eva Beam. I'm pretty sure I've got enough Eva Beams. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just. Maybe I'm just talking like crazy. Maybe I don't have any. There's one. <laughs> Who knows? I think one of my roommates is cooking something. <sighs> smells like a burger. I'd be so down for a nice home cooked burger right now. That sounds delicious. Not Alice. Alice is fine how she is. Because I'm not going to use her. Because she's trash. Got some trons, damn it. Do I even have any Eva Beam Trons? Please. Lovely. Actually, I can run a lead extra if I've got a lead tron. Do I not? Uh, not to keep my skill. Damn it. Of course, he's got him. Gary over here. Chilling like a baller. That's a nice one. Up to ten. The nice thing is I'll be able to just swap the Tron out. I feel like if if you actually like like you don't need to do all these extra swaps if you're just swapping Trons themselves. It's just I find this a little bit easier to do. Uh like for for time wise and for um cheapness as far as resources go like I, i've got enough i've got enough crystals to be able to do this um i mean i only have 1500 but like i don't know for a free-to-play player it's not bad not bad at all all right so we'll give this shot worst comes to worst i can actually just hop on an advanced e jam uh that might be cheaper the cheaper way to go it's a little bit rougher but it, it probably actually get the job done Neither of these guys have crazy ability. I don't think is Scheman is it his main account? Is this his main or is this like an aside all account? Because I feel like it just doesn't have a, as as much stuff as all the other accounts. But um, and I do want Advanced Priest Fighter proc first because that if I can get that that'd be nice. All right, yeah. So I guess let's see. Yeah, so three seventy seven. So I'm up to 437, and what was his hero ability? This is just the math portion. 196. What do I got? Two seventy one, so I'm about eighty, so he'd be he'd be around four seventy. But I'm running one accuracy and a device. So I think if he has no extras, I win. 
think he runs other servers? I'm sure he does. There's no way this is his first account and he's this good at the game. Because, like, he's won universes and he's definitely a newer, newer player. Alright, well, yeah, we'll, we'll give this one a shot. I think it's just like this. If, if he's running, like, double accuracy extra, I think he'll just shred me. But sometimes you get shredded and then you just come back and you five star, so... Looks like he's got some beam holes. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, nope. Uh, he hit me there. Okay. So he's definitely hitting me a little bit. Uh, one more extra, though, would definitely just take him out of the equation entirely. We'll see how these procs go. Uh, not that well. No procs there. I could just wipe him uh, with fighters. Never mind. I could still get five stars if like, I get good random fire. Nah. Uh, Nah, rip. I came so close. Oh well. <sighs> I might be able to actually just do it with a bypass device. That might be the way to go. Another option, a way that I think hyper destroyers should be viable, is if you run them like with bypass and you swap their armor and stuff, and then you also just run the resist formation because then you can just get uh, 95 resist, and like they can resist enough, I think. All right, so I gotta probably probably just get rid of this damage and put in a bypass. Dang it, Sabrina doesn't have the... It's, uh, it's only 368. Here's to hoping this little bit of extra EVA pushes me over the edge. I use beam bypass and a beam defense here instead of ge defense shield. Oh! Actually, no, you're right. That's the way to go. Advanced beam defense, too. That extra 67 EVE is pretty huge. I think I have a decent beam defense hero. That's a good call. I think I'll level this hero up for next league. This league, I'm kind of just trying to learn the game a little bit. I got him. He's alright. I'd rather have him on cruisers, though. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, it's missile defense. God damn it. I thought this would be a defense here. Yeah, because, like, okay, so if in this situation, I w if, even if I wasn't using uh, a bypass device there, if I just swap my defense shield for uh, beam defense, advanced beam defense, like, I would have won. Oh, and I got this missile defense shield? Well, why do I got all these good missile defense heroes? Alright, yeah, so I, I might look into just investing in this hero. Although, uh, I might wait till better hero day. I don't know. I'm really hesitant about investing in hyper mothership heroes that, like... Actually, if I'm only using it offensively, which is probably how I'll do it, then that's fine. He'll, he'll do the job. Okay, that's a good call, though, Macross. Thank you for that. It would actually be cheaper, too. Because you're right, defense shield, like... I mean, you shouldn't be getting hit anyway, so... Sometimes defense shield just feels like a waste to me. Because, like, the good hyper destroyer builds aren't going to get hit even once. Or you're just protecting against the 5% chance. A 
execution, execution. Yeah, I mean, I've got good ideas, but my execution in this game is... I mean, I play it once a week, so, like... I'm not never going to be up to up to the, the par that's needed. Oh, well. 66,000 minerals left. Can I finish this league without having to dismiss a full fleet? Let's find out. But he was missing me a few times, so I think with this extra 40, uh, the defense shield will actually come in clutch. And maybe I'll get hit once, but it'll be alright. Maybe. I definitely... Alright, looks like he's missing a little bit more. Mmm... Not enough, though. Nope. Oh. This isn't going to work. Ugh. Well, oh well. I'm just going to run E-Jam. Advanced E-Jam, that is. Swap it for DS. Man. Or do I just level up one of those beam defense heroes and just push them to max nat 15 and then just run trons? I could just do that. How many do I have enough for advanced beam defense? Yeah, why not? Let's buy it. Let's level up a hero. Oh wait, shit, this costs gold. Do I have enough? I don't know if I'll have enough. This will be interesting. <laughs> Just to see if I have enough. I only have 150 beam defense LDs. Why do I have so little? Actually, I think I chipped these for a long time. Like, way longer than I should have. Because I have, like, 300 missile defense, I think. Alright. Gold's not too pricey yet. I can handle this amount. We'll level up his ability, too. Not to gold LDs. I'll never spend gold LDs on these type of heroes. But... I do think that like the little bit extra durability and EVA you can get out of this early on is pretty important. So I'll, sp I'll spend like up until I need to spend gold LDs. Or I run out. The advanced levels are gold crazy. I would expect nothing less. Ooh, two million off the bat. I'm assuming it's gonna double. Yup. Is it gonna double again or six million? Okay, six mil. I can afford this. I mean, yeah, it's not pretty, but you know, right after this, I'm I'm literally gonna pull Jeffrey, right? Like my next honor hero. I'm just gonna post in the chat, be like, hey, look what I pulled, and it's gonna be <laughs> Jeffrey. And I'm like, damn it. I'm just gonna leave him at eight. Give him that. Probably need to boost up his lead a tiny bit too. Just to get him to like a somewhat respectable amount of. That works. And then, oh, uh, damn it. So, like, if I, because if I put this guy on, I'm just going to lose all my fleet. 
Like, look at this. I can't afford to lose that much resources. Do you know how much it's going to cost me to build this thing back up? Too much. Um, hmm. Like, I wish I could just disband a little bit of a fleet. That's what I want to be able to do. I'm going to get rid of this fleet. I'm just going to make a new one. Oh, what if I just run him on MS-8? I'm actually so just going to do that. I don't want to pay the money. <laughs> I never thought I would be doing this. I've had Hyper for like way too long to be making T8 ships, but... Nice curse to have though. Yeah, definitely true. Could be like me not pulling any Monster Heroes. It's been a while since I pulled one. I mean, I pulled Vince, but like it's still a little different because it's not an Honor Hero. I actually don't know how to spec these for resist. I don't know what you want. Do I just run a beam hole? Is that what I do? Yeah, I probably don't run charger. Beam bypass then. And then just have a cannon hole. Okay, sure. Sure. I can't believe I'm running a T8 ship. Oh my gosh. But it'll probably work. Good call, only need the skill. Yeah. It's just like a bunch of gov bleed. I mean, I'm also running this guy at straight up level 17, so. Ooh, that cheap, cheap fleet. Let's go. I, yeah, I straight up would not be able to afford a full spec of this. All right, and then give myself a fighter resist extra, and honestly, it's it's a pretty shitty job, but it should get the job done. So, nice. How's he looking? How's this level seventy hero that's gonna be in my fleet looking? <laughs> T8 ships look so funny after never using them. Oh shit, I needed a fighter resist. God damn. Or do I already have one? No, I have double beam. Oh wait, I probably just can't get full resist. No, come on. Can I not? Does anyone quick know if I can get enough resist? I guess it's not too expensive to... I think fighter bypass and I'd be able to do it. Maybe I can do it this way. Where's fighter bypass? I don't have like a spreadsheet on me. I could open one up, but 93 that's fine. Oh, wait. Fuck it. I'm running beam res anyway cuz I'm running a defense hero. This shows you how often I use heroes like this. I right, I'm also only level 12, but I think that's okay. What is my resist at for... If I'm getting max resist, that's all I need. And I've got 40, so I just need 55. Is that what my skill is giving me right now? It's probably giving me, what, 60? Level 12? Fifty-eight. Perfect. Just what I needed. Yeah. Well, I was also forgetting that, uh... Um, 
I straight up just don't need beam resist on a hero like this because I'm gonna get it anyway from uh, my my actual skill itself. So I'm probably just gonna what's a what's a Tron that I'm probably gonna be using. Yeah, I'm actually going to take it off. We'll go to 11. I didn't need that extra swap, though. I'm just doing it just to get a... Oh, wait, I already have. Well, res cannons, I guess. I don't know. Do I have a cannon res extra? Whatever. It doesn't matter. I already have the... I'm literally doing nothing and just... I have the hero to beat him, so whatever. I'm just going to have him. Let's hope it works. Fingers crossed. Do I have beam armor on all these? Or no, I don't have beam armor, but I have bypass, and that's just, that's fine. Cool. Thought it was EJM, beam defense even better. You can go reflex instead of hybrid. Ooh, I could. I mean, that's all, like, micromanaging, though. Honestly, it's the, the fact that I have this skill is what makes it so good. Like, just the skill itself, that's what's going to win it for me. I think I'm gonna try to use hyper destroyers with more of like these beam defense heroes and stuff. This seems like a really good option. Full resist and like good evasion. Oh, did I get hit? So I'm not even gonna. I need air advanced preaching fire to proc, please. I think I do need to spec Sydney for, or not Sydney, sorry, my uh, my advanced random fire hero for more defense though, because having max resist doesn't mean anything if you've got like a hundred million durability, you know. All right, so we got that. So yeah, so like against this fleet, I would just run fighter defense, right? Do I have a fire defense hero? Can I do? Can I re-level another hero? Can I level uh, another one? I might not have fighter defense. Oh, I've got this guy. He could honestly still get the gut job done though. But I don't have the advanced LDs, so and I want the Eva. Oh well. I was just thinking for like ways to like beat like counter fire. I'll probably just stick to regular defense shield though. And then, uh, am I gonna need to do more Tron switching for those CFs? Or can I just push it up high enough anyway? I'll swap this over to fighter. Probably just gonna be lazy and try and do it this way. See if I can just do it with my Trons that I have on now, because I feel like none of these fleets were super difficult to beat, right? Right. All this time I thought I was following the channel. <laughs> Let's go, Ken San. Thanks for the follow. We hit fifty the other day, I think. It's pretty nice. But thank you for that, I definitely appreciate it. I think I have a fighter resist deck, or a fighter evasion extra on this person. And my piercing fire hero isn't going to need one. Actually, I'm gonna run advanced rapid fire. Probably in place of spread. See, like, why if I put in a, a, a hero from another one, does it give me this 
this option, but if I'm swapping between fleets, it doesn't. Like, that's just what doesn't make sense to me, you know? Sorry, I'm just complaining. I'm a complainer. Double Augies, and this sh this one should be a wrap pretty soon. I don't need beam the f or beam bypass anymore either, so I'll probably just give myself a little more damage. Accuracy, actually, that's the way to go. Accuracy is what's matter with these fleets, not damage. Am I running? How many attacks did I use? Am I ahead of him? Oh yeah, I'm ahead of Scheming, so... 23... Now I've used 22. So if I get double 5 stars, I win. Which I think I'll be able to do. I'm a little bit concerned about this, Nargus. But I still think I'll be able to, uh, I have the I'll have the DPS to just straight up beat him. Oh, Cause this was like a high ability Nargus, right? That's what I said earlier. We'll see. He's definitely hitting me though. Nah, this isn't gonna go well. Actually, it could still go fine. It just depends if I just hit this DPS once or if I hit him for a bunch. Oh, I'm dead. Didn't go how I wanted. What we'll the other guy? Because I'm pretty sure I'll just be able to evade the this guy. The other one I just wasn't able to. Nargus is just too good. Vince is even better though. Am I hitting him for 600 million exactly? That's really funny. I've never seen... Wow. I've never seen it do that. Like, a 0000, zero, 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 zero number like that. That's insane. This is how we'll do it. This is how you beat a fleet with no, uh, with just Nargus. If it doesn't have a DPS threat, we'll probably run Augies if we're exposed to fire. And I don't need that, so I'll just take a little more damage too. 
just to get the defense rolling up. And then for precision fire, we'll run beams. High rate of fire, I'll be hitting him anyway. Cool. What's what's my skills? Do I have Trons on Terra? She looks one thirty two percent ability is a little bit concerning. Wow, she has Trons. Oh, but she's missing an extra. That's sad. We'll give her a nice beam accuracy one. Yep, and then I'm like almost 100% sure that he's not going to be able to be me with this fleet. Yeah. I am going to move EF over though. Just so that uh, it's not keep it doesn't keep procking against the AEF. And I'm gonna give myself a missile. Oh, I wasn't even the missile fighter evasion formation. Oh, maybe I could have been able to do it then if I got an extra 60 evasion. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. Like I said, my execution is not up to par. So I pretty much just need to whittle him away slowly. The only thing I'm concerned about is if like a rapid fire or something were to like keep hitting it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we got it. I think. Piercing fire proc would be nice, but... There we go. Yep. Oops, sorry for that. But yeah, that's like... Those four DPS are really, really good against uh, a fleet with just Nargus as the only DPS threat. Um, just because Nargus will never proc. So then you pretty much just eliminate Nargus, and like you still you still got a pretty decent fleet, like because usually if they're only running one DPS like that, they're gonna go full pillow, and advanced precision fire, advanced piercing fire, uh, explosive fire, and rapid fire is a very very efficient way to uh, deal with that. So if you ever like run up against like a, a fleet like that, um, I would definitely recommend something like this. Uh, you can swap weapons to really whatever you want. Um, but just like these, these four skills pair really well. So yeah, GG's, uh, to everyone who's going to watch the VODs or is watching them right now. Thank you all for tuning in to the stream. Uh, it was pretty fun. Um, if you want to stick around, I'm actually probably just gonna, uh, stream for like 15 minutes, uh, how I farm aliens, potential question mark. Um... But yeah, so I'm probably just going to do that just to, just to, um, kind of show off, like, how, how many I can get. Because I think I, I think I get a decent amount, actually, compared to, like, some people. And I think I can just straight up farm them with, like, something like this. But yeah, but you all enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. I hope you have a great day. The weather is nice, so if it's still... If the sun is still out, you're not you're not over in Europe where it's nighttime. You should go out. At least smell the air. It's a nice spring day. But yeah, you guys all have a great rest of your evening. If you're taking off. If you want to stay in chat, that's cool with me too. I'm totally down to do that. I'm just going to be uh, hitting some 1010 and just farming as many uh, as many aliens as I can. I'll probably split up the VODs then. Do I want to do that? Maybe. I might just upload as one. I'm pretty lazy. I'm about alien out, probably about ten thousand tax. Well, I'm just going to be I'm going to be doing campaigns, so I'm going to show you like how to like double hit and like do it that way. It, it, I'm assuming you know how, but that's what I'm I'm really going to be doing. Can I just run 5 DPS? No, I need a CFF. I need a CFF in here. Peter 
Sniper's good. <laughs> we'll just run missiles. I like having a spread fire and uh, an explosive fire, or just another spread fire works too. Um, because like these fleets, uh, they'll they'll instant insta wipe a ten ten, so you'll get through the campaign battles as quick as possible. And you should have like a high enough account to where like you don't need to like swap for the alien, so you just run the same thing. Um, I'm running hyper destroyer, so it'll be interesting to see like what my damage output is, but it should be fine. But yeah, but I think I I never really like went over all this. Uh, yeah, I mean I spent 25 attacks, so I definitely had to respec a few times. Uh, I'm still learning hyper destroyers for sure, but I'm pretty sure I secured the win. Because he's at 23, so even if he ties, I'll have gotten there first. Um, yeah, I think Cobran might be able to... It uh, looks like he got some pretty bad procs. He might be able to do it, though. But yeah, but GG's to anyone who watched the stream. Leveled up a beam defense hero, so <laughs> got to use that for the first time in a bit. Um, but yeah, so... Peter's on miss perfect missile, that's fine. Alright. So we'll drop this and then we'll just go for like 14 minutes. Uh let me set a timer. Alright. Start that. Activate. I just like having a timer going so that uh, I don't have to always check to see if it's over. I just know exactly when it's over and then I can just stop worrying about it. Oh, we got one. I missed it. I should have been paying attention. <laughs> Could have been more optimal. Don't have time. It's all good, Coburn. You have a good uh, start to your work week tomorrow. Work week. Ugh. Oh, I should be track of extra swaps 11 Two. <laughs> you got jury duty ooh that sucks do they feed you I think they give a, they give you lunch in the states but like it's never it's never a good lunch So I always love the double hit like that because it usually means there's going to be barely any of this fleet left so I don't have to go through the whole uh, restaunching, relaunching the game because this is actually quicker. Sometimes you can get it like super optimal if they have like 1000 fleet left and it's like instant. But Yeah, and maybe if I pull some Master Scouts we'll, we'll pop them and hope that we get Vela. That'd be sick. Depends how long you're there. Could hang about all day. Yeah, at least it is a paid day off work. Do you do they tell you what the court case is going to be like, or do you go in blind? Oh shoot, I'm not even stealth there. That makes it a little slower, but not enough for me to actually care. It's pretty important to skip the reward too if you're trying to 
be as efficient. No blind makes sense. Man, no procs. Bad luck. Usually you don't go three rounds without seeing one. Like six attacks like that. Wow. I'm getting wrecked. Holy cow. I'm actually going to check to make sure I don't have an alien spawned already. Five in a row. Definitely don't. There we go. And it's a T100. T100s are always nice. They give a lot of DM. I always love spawning those ones. Oops. They're pretty beefier though, so I always, uh, they usually take me like three attacks to kill. Because I never optimally spec for this stuff. I figure it would cost me more in respecking than it would be worth. Oh, I have to log in? Are you kidding me? I can't type my password like this. Uh, why? Alright. I'm hiding it for a second. I don't know why it did that. Shit, I put it too low. No. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I messed this up. Relogging too much, too often. Is that what causes it? It was able to kill it, so that's nice. Four. Yeah, obviously this one like isn't as like efficient as uh, I could be. It's so weird though. It's like hit or miss if it's gonna cause that to happen or not, in my opinion. Because, like, I can usually go through a whole alien session without having it, and sometimes, like, I'll load the game, like, two or three times in a row, and every time I'll have to log in. My record is, like, 14, I think, in 12 minutes. I got super lucky. Usually I'm not that lucky, to be honest. Oops, messed that up. gonna be a double hit. Might get it optimally. Ah. T100 
P95s are always the ones that if you double hit them, you might get like super lucky and be very efficient about it. Like if you do like 31,000 out of the 32,000 damage, that's what you want. Then you don't have to spend time relaunching the game. Oops. It's actually nuts like how easy it is to farm DM. Oh, I have six now. Got to update it. Err, yeah? Is that six? I think it's six. But yeah, like if I had those guys stealthed, I would probably save like one like wave of this. So you might get like an extra alien. A chance at getting an alien is essentially what I'd be saving in time. But I'm not like super hard pressed for DM. And then, honestly, I do a lot of 16 hour uh, uh, hyper research anyway. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, like that was so much faster than having to relaunch the game. Even after even having to go through all those menus. How much time I got left? Three minutes, three and a half. I'm hoping to get 10. 10 would be nice. But like, I feel like I'm not having the best luck. Sometimes it's nuts, like every single time you double battle, you'll get one. Get lucky. One more AP. I mean, still though, honestly, eight aliens in like 15 minutes, even if that's what I would end up with, uh, still so much better. This this alien device was a great addition by Aeon. Cause it made it so you didn't have to like farm for a whole three hours. If like if you've only got like fifteen minutes, like you can get enough DM to run your lab in fifteen minutes. You can get excess. Like you'll be fine. Like, if you did this every day, you would have a ton. And you can make a decent amount of LDs and, like, stuff like that, too. Alright, yeah. So that was actually, like, the perfect one. Is I missed two full battles and I get to come back in. I mean, perfect would have been he was dead, of course, but not too bad.
Alright, let's go. Double digits. Oh yeah, that's that's the perfect one right there. The warning symbol is still on. See that? That's how you know it was good. I think I spawned one? I think I had the same screen, so it was kind of like weird. Normally the screen switches, but if auto battle kind of like ends like that, uh, it means that you spawned one on the second time, but you try and load the first bat battle. So it messes up. All right, my timer's up. Nice, right as I spawned one too. So I got 11. I'll take it. 11 aliens spawned, not too bad. Let's see if we got any master scouts. If so, we'll dump them. Maybe we'll pull the unique. You'll get to hear me freak the fuck out. Probably not, though. Let's be real. 1.6% chance. And did I even pull one? Nah, I didn't even get it. I didn't even get one. Actually, I need to open three. Because it holds 30 messages, so. Just to see if I pulled one on the first, but I doubt it. Nah. Oh, well. Yeah, so we didn't get any master scouts, but we got a decent amount of DM. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was before and after, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna kill the stream now. Thanks for uh, all of you guys who stayed. Thanks for chatting. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace.